So Scorpio, in the recent past, we have the Four of Wands. Now, when it came to love at that time, this card indicates that your relationship was about to become a whole lot more committed up to and including possible marriage. If you were looking for love at that time, this card shows that special events like weddings, bar mitzvahs, commitment ceremonies, they were all great places to meet someone special. If you got invited to something like that, it would have been important to go and it would have been a, a great turnout for you. And that's with the Four of Wands and it's paired with the Four of Swords. Now, with the Four of Swords, if you were in a romantic relationship at that time, you could have been feeling a bit disconnected. It would have been important to let your partner know what was going on inside, but remember that your feelings, they are your own. And it's not necessarily your partner's job to try to make you feel great all the time. It could have been that you simply needed some time apart. You should have made sure to take it. If you were looking for romance or love at that time, then was not the time to push for it. You'd be better off getting very specific about exactly what you were looking for in a relationship because the time will come when you will meet someone and that time probably was not then. Now that's the recent past. Now we move on to the present. We have the Nine of Cups. Now this is a very good card in the tarot for love and relationships. If you're already in a relationship, it's very possible that it's going to deepen and become better and sweeter. If you're single, this is a good time to meet people. So get out, socialize, have conversations with people, with strangers. Uh, any potential outcome is going to be a good thing. The idea now is to have fun. And that's with the Nine of Cups and it's paired with the King of Wands. Now, when it comes to love and relationships, the King of Wands, it's an excellent card in the tarot. He signifies that someone you care about also has protective and caring feelings about you and that they are willing to work hard, if necessary, to make the relationship work. You may be more than usually focused on your own work or career at this time, but you need to make time for romance even if you're single or you could end up with work being the only thing in your life. And that's the King of Wands and with these two cards paired together, uh, both of them are great. Both of them are great times for romance, for finding a new love. Uh, if you're already in a relationship, it's going to deepen, become much sweeter much better and if you're single great time to meet people and with and being that the nine of cups is paired with the the king of wands um if you're in a relationship where someone's coming towards you uh they'll be coming towards you as a protective caring person they'll have a lot of feelings for you a lot of emotions for you and they will also be willing to work hard if necessary to make the relationship work now this like I said this could be a relationship that you're in already or a new relationship coming towards you so like I said these are really two good cards for love and romance now that's a present now we move on to the challenge we have the king of Pentacles. now it speaks of um, well the king is an excellent is another excellent card in the tarot regarding love and relationships just know that someone may possibly come along and absolutely sweep you right off your feet. Yes, try to put your best foot forward, but don't pretend to be someone that you're not. This person will love you for exactly who you are, so be honest and everything should fall into place at this time. If you're currently involved with someone, the relationship could very well move to a more comfortable place. But if you are dissatisfied, 
You need to say so for things to change. Don't expect your lover to read your mind at this time. Okay, that's the King of Pentacles and it's paired with the Five of Cups. Now, a relationship you're in may have just ended or may be about to start the process of ending. You must realize that all is not lost. You probably, you're probably not ready to move to a new relationship yet. So give yourself some time and space then get back out there. There will come a day when you realize that the reason the relationship has ended wants to get you to a place where you really want to be, which is in a relationship that really works for you and work well. And with these two cards paired together, the King of Pentacles, it's a great time for love and relationship. Someone could come along and sweep you right off your feet at this time. So put your best foot forward. Uh, it's possible It's possible because we have it paired with a Five of Cups. You're ending a relationship, or you could be in the process. And once you do, there's someone right around the corner looking to sweep you off your feet. So it looks like you run right into uh, something that's probably better for you. Or at least someone that's, that wants to um, give it a good shot. He's gonna, they're going to try to sweep you off your feet first. Okay, um, so try to put your best foot forward. Don't pretend to be someone that you're not. And if, like I said, if you're in a relationship, the Five of Cups says that it could be in the process of ending. But it's to get you to a place or a new relationship that's better for you, that works better for you. So it could be this King of Pentacles that's better for you, the, the one that I'm talking about that's coming to sweep you off your feet. So, I don't know. I hope it works out for you. I hope it works well. And that's going to be the challenge. Now, we move on to the Two of Wands, which is in the outcome. If you are already in a relationship, it's about to get a lot more equal. Pay attention to your ideals about equality and balance and share them. If you're looking for love, someone who could be very good for you is already likely part of your life so don't judge a book by its cover if someone is interested in you give them a chance the relationship could be just what you're looking for that's the two of wands and it's paired with the seven of pinnacles now seven of pinnacles points to things going well for the person that you have your heart set on if you are not in a relationship, you need to be open to other possibilities. Just know that none of us have just one person that is the only person that we can be with and have a deep, soulful, happy relationship. So don't get into any feelings of suspicion or fear at this time because all is well. Now with these two cards paired together, the two of wands, it's basically about... If you're in a relationship, it's going to get better. It's going to get, become more equal. Uh, okay, pay attention to your ideals and uh, share them so that things can balance out. And if you're single, it's great because this card is about... It's about someone who's already a part of your life. They're very good for you. You probably don't know it. You don't even realize it. Um, you could be judging them by their cover. But this card reminds you not to judge a book by its cover. Because someone is already in your circle that's good for you. And you should, it's, it's about giving them a chance. If you're interested, if someone is interested in you, and they're already in your circle. Like I said, you, you don't probably don't know, don't know it. And if you do, you should give them a chance. That's what this card is about. Um, because the relationship could be just what you have been looking for. And you just don't know it yet. Or maybe you do. And um, because it's paired with the Seven of Pentacles, um, you have to be open to other possibilities. So you need to be more open to... Um, things that come your way and to uh, expand your horizons. 
because these are pretty much two good cards. And that's going to be the outcome. So, Scorpio, I hope this resonates. As you know, general readings, they don't always resonate with everyone. Then again, if you like this reading, please like, subscribe, leave a comment if that's what you care to do. I thank you so very much for watching, and have a great day.